emergencies around the Australia and New Zealand region. Uh, today is the 21st of November 2016 and it's currently in uh, Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time, it's 8.30. Um, and we've had a, a power outage up in Darwin that's uh, happened in the last um, few, where are we here? According to this, uh, one hour ago, um, it is the UTC's time, so I'm not going to convert them for you, but it's saying one hour ago here. Um, other events that uh, are taking place at the moment, uh, not really in our region. Let's see down the list here. Um, a couple of things I did notice though, uh, just going back up to the map here. Um, oops, don't like the way they work that. Anyway, there's been a, uh, an earthquake here. Um, it, this is um, 118 kilometres deep, it's a 4.5. It happened at, um, again, this would be UTC time, 2.08 a.m. on the 21st of November. Uh, then we have a look at uh, USGS. Uh, they're showing it at uh, 2.08 at 118 kilometres. Uh, but there's some others in the area, so clearly one of the things to take note of is this map's only showing what's happening right now, which is good. It doesn't get too confused. Um, but what, I was just strolling through this, having a quick look at this stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's some interesting things here. But I got down to the, um, well, the earthquakes we've, we've shown. They're all the earthquakes today, so that's a, well, in the last 12 hours. That's a significant number in the last 12 hours. Some fairly big ones there, 6.4 in Argentina. Uh, tsunami information. Um, uh, but then I get down and have a look at these volcano activity reports and um, we can see that there are um, one on the North Island of New Zealand, um, two on the, uh, sorry, three Two on the Northern Island of New Zealand, three on the Northern Island of New Zealand. Uh, this one went had some activity on the 1st of November, here on the 8th of November, and the most recent one was on the 14th of November, which is, uh, as I recall, at the same time as the earthquakes. Um, so uh, I went and uh, uh, had a look at the, um, where am I here? These, the, the, the um, I've got the quakes open, sorry about this. Here. Now, this is the uh, GeoNet uh, org site for New Zealand where they show all the volcanoes, as I've just shown you, and they show the tsunamis and the, uh, and the earthquakes. And here, they're saying this activity colour code is green. And they've got all of their earthquakes. Coming back, sorry, I'm, there's two at alert levels one and all the others are at alert levels zero. Uh, zero is no volcanic unrest, and one is a minor volcanic uprest. So I just found that uh, slight variation in the way that these things are explained uh, of interest. And oh, coming back to um, this emergency site, I'll stroll on down and then I'm looking at the super volcanoes monitoring system and here we have, I don't know how else to read this, but we have on one, two volcanoes in New Zealand, according to this, at a volcanic explosion index rating of eight. And if I can just show you that, an eight is a toba. Look at the size of that. And they're in, and yet the volcanic alert system in New Zealand shows them all basically absolutely harmless. I'm just pointing it out. I don't know why that would be. There's some here, in, you'll see in the um, New Zealand, there's one out of seven. So this one, I just go to here, for example, Teo. Teopo, to Teopu, or whatever, I can't pronounce those names. Um, coming back to, where is it, there it is. It's at a zero, volcanic alert level, zero. 
activity code green. Some minor shaking, very minor, but uh, they're not worried about it. And uh, yet, yet the emergency services are showing it very high, and I thought that was uh, interesting. Anyway, so it makes me wonder, I wonder how, how much some of this other information, you know, how accurate it is. Um, you know, there's no explanation on this site as to how they get to this rating. Not that I can find anyway. If we click on the uh, details of this uh, Lake Taupo, um it doesn't really give you any information. The last uh, known eruption was over 28,500 years ago. Anyway, use that information as you will. Cheers. Hi guys, just having a look at the current emergencies around the Australia and New Zealand region. Uh, today is the 21st of November 2016 and it's currently in uh, Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time, it's 8.30. Um, and we've had a, a power outage up in Darwin that's uh, happened in the last um, few, where are we here, according to this uh, one hour ago. Um, it is the UTC's time, so I'm not going to convert them for you, but it's saying one hour ago here. Um, other events that uh, are taking place at the moment, uh, not really in our region. You see down the list here. Um, a couple of things I did notice.